Hello everyone, hope you are loading well. So in this video, we'll discuss the fourth problem of lead code weekly contest 340. Uh, it's a high level problem. The problem name is minimum number of visited cells in a grid. Okay. So you are given a zero index M cross N integer matrix. Okay. Your initial position is at the top left cell that is zero comma zero here. Okay. Starting from cell I comma J, you can move to one of the following cells. Which cells? Cells I comma K. That means the row number is same, but you are moving in the rightward direction. Okay. Now to which column can you go? You can go to any column which lies between J. That means your current column and grid of I comma J plus J. Okay. That means whatever the value is present here. Okay. Plus J. Similarly, the other way you can move in the downward direction as well. So that is row number will change column will remain same so here you can move like this you can move here you can move here something like this got it where k lies between grid of i comma j plus i got it so return the minimum number of cells you need to visit to reach the bottom right cell m minus one n minus one if there is no valid path return zero for example you are standing here let me just erase it okay you are standing here now from this position, where all you can go? If you want to move in the rightward direction, so where you can move? You can move at most three distance. So yeah, here, here, or here. Or here, here, here. Three distance, either in the right direction or in the left direction, or in the down direction. Simple. So that's the <clears throat> that's what the problem is asking us to do. Now, what is the answer in our case? Like here, we in one step we can move here. So in one step, you can either move here, here or here, this, this or this. Okay. So in, in one step, we directly move here. Got it. Now in the next step, you do not move two units. Okay. You do not move two units. Otherwise, what will happen? You will be stuck here. This is zero and you will not, you will not be able to move in the right direction. So rather move here on this cell, right? Right. Move here. Now, when you move here, what will happen? You are at four. In the next step, you can do directly reach, reach the destination cells. How many cells you have visited? One, just a second. Yeah, one, two, three, and four. So four, four is your answer. Similarly, for this case, you start from here. Okay, you move here, then again move here. How many cells you have visited? One, two, three. Got it. So three is your answer. However, in this case, just see. If you move here, just a second. Yeah. What are the possibilities? You can move here or here. So if you move here, got it. If you move at this index, either you can move down or right. At both the places you are stuck. So you cannot move. If you directly move two distance, then also you are stuck. If you move here, you are at one. You're the only option you have is to come here. So all the cells are making you stop. Okay. So that is why there is no possible way you can reach the destination. Hence you print minus one. Okay, so this is a traditional problem of I would say a, a breadth-first search, okay, or the extra algorithm, whatever you call it. So all we need to do is just see here. It's it's easy. What you can do? Just start from this index, start from this cell, and see what are the possible cells you can visit. Okay, so, so till here, suppose you have covered D distance or D cells, whatever you call it. Okay, now. At D plus one at visit, which cells can you visit? Either this, this or this, this, this or this. Got it? So all the possibility is just add it in a queue. Add it in a queue. Got it? And then simply it's a, it's a traditional BFS, right? And then you keep on pulling the values, whichever cell is not visited. Okay, whichever cell is not visited, that only you will put that into the queue and then pull it out and then do the same thing. For example, if you are here, what are the possible places you can visit this cell and this cell two distance, this cell and this cell. Got it. If you are here, what are the possible cells you can visit this cell and this cell. Also, you have to check. Also, you have to check that if you are visiting a cell which is zero, so you will be stuck. So if you are visiting a so try, so you have to avoid visiting a cell with value zero. You can only visit a cell with value zero if that is the last cell destination cell. Got it these are the things that we need to take care of. so let's see what is the solution uh, th these are the dimensions m and n now if i have just one cell i return one got it and uh, this is my queue i've taken a 2d array to keep a track of what are the cells that i've visited 
in my queue i have added the first cell got it and initially my distance is one you can take a distance the number of visited cell whatever you call it generally you take distance because in other cases you have to take out the distance right so uh, here while your queue is not empty find how many elements do you have now for all those elements just see till here okay for all those elements what you do you you pull the element in the fr front okay see what's the value at that particular cell now see what are the cells you can visit in the rightward direction so column equals to one column less than equal to val now if by jumping at that particular column you go out of the cell just break it because even after even for values larger than this particular value you will go out go out of the cell so just remove it else if this is a valid thing so what do you do you check if cell cell zero equals equals m minus one okay and at column plus cell one equals to n minus one meaning if you are standing at the last row and while jumping just one distance you are reaching the destination index so return distance plus one else what you do else simple you check wherever you are visiting if that is not equal to zero and that has not been visited add that into the queue and mark it visited simple stuff right similarly you can do that for the downward direction as well you see what are the possible values of rows if number of rows is if, if the place if the row where you are jumping is more than the number of rows obviously that is invalid you break the loop you check that if i'm standing at the last column if can i visit in one step uh, to the destination cell so you return distance plus one or the last thing similar to this what you will do you'll check if the if the cell which i'm visiting is not zero if that is not visited add that in the queue mark as visited simple you keep on doing this adding it in the queue and finally uh, at every at every step obviously you'll increase increase the distance as well right because uh, till distance d you have traversed now for d plus one add everything in the queue then for d plus two add everything in the queue so that is why you are increasing the distance okay so you return your answer finally if you have reached all the cells and you were not able to reach the destination you return minus one got it so a trade i would say a relatively uh, easier level four problem that you generally get uh, but the accuracy is on the lower side okay so yeah i hope you learned something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well in case of any queries mention that into the comment section i'll revert on each one of them also i mentioned the uh, solution link uh, in in the in the what do you call it description so you can have a look got it so yeah thank you take care bye bye